oh men of Athens, I say to you, therefore acquit me or not, but whichever you do, I shall never alter my ways, never adjust my approach to this maze, never reform till the end of my days, even if I have to die many times. Got us apprehended by imagination, intuition, reason, touch, opinion, sense, and name, and so on. But I'm quite the other hemi, if I make him begin to understand, I'm sort of summoned, seems a shame to go on. Do. But he is all things in all. And he is nothing in any. He is often found in one thing small. Conversely, he is often missed in many. God endows us with sense and intellect. God endows us with reason we neglect. And despite the abolition by the current inquisition of any intuition that they don't choose, when it comes to God, I find I can't believe that he designed a human being with a mind. He's not supposed to use to. The rise of the state, the decline of Rome was inevitable. Rome had to fall. The state, of all. The state is its God walking on the earth. The seeds of Rome's decline were present at her birth. We should therefore be surprised that man was ever individualized. That Rome remains so strong. Existentialism, which I represent, is more coherent. I do believe it. Glory of God, we are born to make manifest. There is no such thing as human nature, not in all or few men, since there is no God to conceive it. Glory of God, we are born to make manifest. So high in my lovely ivory tower of Babel, 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 high above the rabble, 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 greatest mind of history, solving life's sweet mystery. So listen to me. So listen to me. Know how life should be. Know how life should be. Oh, what does it matter?